Look at it out here today. I shouldn't have stayed up so late if we knew it was gonna be pretty much straight bluebird, but let's get it. Today's gonna be friggin' epic. You got the side panels open on the Polaris again, eh? Just giving you your garbage back. <laughs> days and they probably didn't get the fresh snow we got last night up here but should be pretty much on track so it's gonna be good feels like it's been so long since we've seen the sun ah freaking single track everybody just drives in one single mile line and it gets so damn rough It was open, dummy. Look at it out here. Woo! Oh my God, that is a hard something. And of course, <laughs> there's a big cloud over where we're headed. scratcher up anyway <laughs> Jordan's stuck to the turbo omega get no problem got that scratcher too a trail here but uh, apparently it's pretty wind blown in <laughs> oh. 
Wow. It's really wind blowing in. Nick, yeah, turn for a break trail. We need to take the jerry can off. And we'll take this off too. May as well. tunnel back here. <laughs> well, let's see if we take this whole thing. Woo! Oh. Yeah, just dump the hole. Go ahead. Anybody got any more gas? I'm still not full. 18 liters just to get up the mountain. Well, make some tracks, burn some gas, go home. playing here for a bit with everybody.
Everybody goes straight for the pillows. <laughs> heard that bog. You guys out of gas yet? Check. Nice. This is awesome. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. What's going on there? Holy shit. Wow. Look how far that comes. Something that looks so insignificant. That's a lot more than I thought it would That's be. That's a big slab. Yeah. Yeah, remote trigger. He doesn't even notice yet. Hey, what do you think? About? Everything. Look that way. Out that way? Holy shit. So one of our riders actually wanted to drop this cliff that you kind of see in the middle of the screen here. And as he was just driving across the top of the ridge, looking at things, he remote triggered this. He was probably 20 feet back, right along the top of that ridge. And uh, it's a good thing he didn't just go for it. That ran a long way. Yeah, I didn't even think it'd be hard. It's, uh, I thought it'd be soft, but it got going quick enough off that cliff that it set up super hard. Damn, that is big. get anywhere. I think our sun is kind of disappearing here for the day. It'll be in and out, but definitely no straight bluebird. Derek, see if you can shoot up through the trees. Trees there. I want to see how well that does compared to this. Derek's gonna put his limber strap to short. Let's see how much better he could pull up that. And I'm gonna track punch.
Good jump right there. Um, not sure what happened there. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. No wonder it doesn't work. <laughs> no. What did you say about want to call a heli? It's gonna suck to double out of here too. Oh, it's totally exploded. That is really awesome. This, you know, this will be the first ever time I haven't rode off the mountain. Huh? Using the little Garmin here, sending off a text, and we'll see if we can get a heli up here. Because if it gets socked in up here, this sled will be up here for a while. Bye, friends. Have fun. I'll be, I'll be here. Hey, don't go anywhere, hey? Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Definitely not an ideal situation up here today. We've used the Garmin inReach to text somebody in town uh, to see if they could call us a heli to come pick up the sled. And then I'll uh, just double it with one of the guys because they won't take you and the sled on the same trip, unfortunately. Because then that'd be a cool heli ride. But <laughs> also kind of crabby because we're pretty far out here today. And the heli bill is going to be pretty pricey, I think. My guess is $1,200. We'll see if we can even get a heli. I was really hoping to get it because if I don't get this sled out of here today, well, there's some uh, light. There's not much left anymore, I guess, but it's supposed to snow for the next like four or five days. <laughs> so won't be able to get back out here. You can't ride up here when it's snowing. We just got a lot more bad news. Derek's chain case exploded. <laughs> oh man. We got to double two people out of here now and maybe heli for two sleds. Uh, kind of actually thinking we'll heli out Derek's possibly and just leave mine because I can easily fix mine on the mountain. I just might not be able to get back to it for a few days. I don't know. Oh yeah, always an adventure. Oh. Oh. We're gonna need two helicopters now. Okay. I'm gonna need a helicopter too. Why? My chain case exploded. Like actually exploded. Yeah, he's in a good spot to be heli dodo. That's uh, a problem. That's a big problem. Tag team heli. Look how many pieces. <laughs> like I can't, I can't again. get over this. This is. But the chain's still intact. I, I can't believe that. That's bizarre. This might be the end of my trip. Well, you were leaving when? I was thinking uh, next week, and the next week, kinda. All right. I'm trying to roll my sled down to here. Hopefully the helicopter will land kind of on this flat bench down here and can talk to them and see what we're going to do. Come on. I think the heli will land out there. Seems like lots of room. Call 
off of the one sled and then we had a butt we had another sled go a chain case so it's just over the hill here is there any way we could fly this sled to the top of the logging road for the entrance into here drop it and we could tow it down and then you get that sled yeah i thought you do that it broke down as as you're on the way pretty much never had the hell of a sled now i gotta do two in one day are we gonna be okay with that there or not it's, it's, we could just throw it in the chopper. Well, I was just gonna, I was gonna film it. Like, are, you are you cool if we have the GoPro on the back of this slide? It's a pretty, it's a sturdy mount there. And... Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna go under my tail, right? No. If it gets lost, it'll... No, if it gets lost, I totally accept it. Okay. Where I'm dropping this one, can I land? Yeah, there's a big, there's a flat spot there for like a log landing. You, if these coordinates are good for you. It's up to you whether you want to stand here and try and make sure that this rope doesn't catch sure. anything. Because sometimes I'm 150 does. feet up. Yeah, you can't tell. Sometimes I can tell. I yep. just want to make sure it doesn't catch on. You know, yeah, it's caught on stage or whatever. Okay. Players has never seen so much speed. You guys got a copy? I copy. Their players is lifted off. They're going out to the logging road, dropping it and coming back. Go for Derek. And there goes Derek! <laughs> uh, he's got his feet on the hood. <laughs> so long you fly to walk up a couple hills almost a double team re-entry we'll be carving up a storm it's gonna be great maybe i you think like this i wonder if crossing helps more but i don't know oh. i feel it just feels off it does feel awkward well that feels awkward too what do skiers do i feel like the skiers do that but i don't know I almost pulled the brake as a throttle. <laughs> Let's cross arms, I think. <laughs> Where's 
nice to go across. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I said let's cross arms. They keep one, one foot like on the very back of the running board. I don't know which one, but. I think I'm gonna go right foot forward. It's in a bad spot. Which one do you want? I don't know, get her. <laughs> <laughs> oh! We're too fat for this. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in the gut. I didn't think that was gonna go well. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling. Of yeah. <laughs> if the G it wasn't so bad. <clears throat> Doesn't look ideal. Oh, they're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just walk. Probably catch this track and... And then we'll turn right if we have to. Sorry. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, downhills are kind of hard. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're good. Uh oh. <laughs> Belt might be warm up to that one. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> this one might be difficult. Try to get into some fresh on the swivel right. Well, we'll just drop straight and then carve, I think. You alright? <laughs> that damn kill switch. Oh, here. I turned it forward, that'll be good. I'm 
just gonna sit on the tunnel down this hill. Yeah. It's hard holding yourself back down the hill. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a G out, smack my head off the tunnel. <laughs> Uphill's weird. Uphill, I'm not a fan of uphill. Downhill is good. We're good. It's easy in the powder when you hit the tracks. Nice. Getting there. Family day weekend, no? Yeah. Trouble out right here, isn't it? Yep. Should be pretty much a trail. Kind of looks like they shoveled it. Get hard. Get up to the trail. Nice. Here. Oh, <laughs> my back leg is burning. I bounced and landed on top of this sled. I think so. There's lots of tracks anyway. So just pick up there? Yeah. Pick up here? Sure. Pick a track and stay in it, maybe. Just get through the single track here. And then we should be down to the sled. Oh, I see the sled down there. But the GoPro still on it, that's good. Look at that, right on the trail and everything. 
Do you want to put my old belt on your sled to tow it? Back to the sled. It's right on the trail. Now to tow it out. Wish I just got them to drop it at the bottom of the mountain. Yeah, it would have taken no time. It wouldn't it wouldn't have made any difference. I just Except didn't. Where would they have landed? Yeah. But honestly, I think I'd rather get towed out than have to ride double. Oh. <laughs> All set up. The belt is off. Backwoods bumper again for a win. And these guys are doubling. Okay, let's go! This is gonna be a snowy ride. Beautiful day. Stuck <laughs> downhill. Where'd all the clouds go? Now it's perfect now. Go for a night ride? Take the old summit? keys for his truck are in his bag that he put in the house. Oh. <laughs> when did you re remember that? About three quarters of the way down. Yeah. <laughs> Backpacks with the sled, eh? Whatever, I'll get it tomorrow. I'm not riding anyway. What about the other guys? Uh, unfortunately. Fortunately, no truck keys for them. Yeah, that really sucks. Well, turns out there was somebody here, so we get the sled, we got the bags. For some reason, Hey, I don't know, why, why didn't you just start it up and drive it on? The smart ass. <laughs> yeah? Here, man. Thanks, buddy. Best day ever. <laughs> Best day ever. <laughs> Well, it's a new day. How do you feel about your best day ever? That's a good today. <laughs> We're going uh, going over to pay our heli bill. We'll see what that's worth. And I also got a text last night that the skidoo is fixed. So we'll go pick up that today and figure out what we're going to do with the sleds on the back of the truck here. Well, the heli bill wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. The original quote was $1,800, but that was for one sled. We flew two sleds, and from when they got called to when they showed up was like half an hour, so the timing was awesome. If you guys ever need a heli off the mountain, definitely uh, recommend Selkirk Helicopters. Well, that's one sled the players dropped off and they're getting a new clutch put on it ASAP. We'll pick it up on the way back. So long as we can drop Derek's truck off, truck, sled. I, I said truck because there's a, <laughs> there's a truck in the ditch here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so now we're off to Banner Rack, pick up my skidoo and hopefully drop Derek's off to be fixed. Thanks Banner for getting the skidoo fixed up. We'll see if they could get Derek's fixed up. Uh, I feel like those chain case parts might be back ordered. So I got three snowmobiles. This morning I had zero operational. We're getting the Polaris back now. We got the skidoo. It's not bad. One day, two sleds fixed. Uh, the 146. We're going to get it to the dealer to get it back on the snow and uh, hopefully get it on that for some ripping also. It's always a good time on the 146. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. It was quite the shit show, but uh, some good memories also. And the shit show also didn't end with what you see in the video today, tonight, while I was editing this. I got a call from Jordan up on the mountain, or a text from his inReach that he was stuck up there, couldn't get off the mountain, so we had to go on a little rescue mission. But that'll be in a future video. Also, I should mention, since I know there'll be a lot of questions, the problem with the G5 turbo, uh, the reeds were gone in one of the cylinders. So just quick swap, and it was good to go.